so hot. Oh, it's so warm. It looks so fire, though. You can wait if you want. <sighs> Steam's coming out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's chicken vape. Wow. Chicken vape. <laughs> I'm Corey Obenauer, chef owner here at Blue Plate in San Francisco. I've been cooking for over 30 years. We opened this restaurant 22 years ago, and I'd probably been cooking for about eight years before that. I grew up skating in San Jose, California, starting when I was about six or seven years old, probably 1976, 77. Did a lot of street skating, backyard ramps. Did skateboarding in Santa Cruz too, a lot of early derby in the uh, late 70s, 80s, all the way up until now. For the last 20 years that we've been here, somehow the restaurant's morphed into a kind of a bastion for the skate community. Starting from the day we opened, uh, originally Jake Phelps and Mickey Reyes and uh, skaters were coming in. It kind of just went that direction, just because we love skating and the lifestyle and just the way skaters think. We're gonna have some sous chefs in the house today, Jake Wooten, Jeremy Nibs, Kevin Braun. We're gonna be cooking the fried chicken which uh, has probably in the last five years passed our meatloaf, the blue plate meatloaf, as our uh, by far our most popular dish. So today we're gonna talk about the marinade, we're gonna talk about the dredge, which is the flour mix, and we're gonna be doing a light spring salad with strawberries and ricotta salada. We're gonna crack the whip, get these guys in some aprons. I think they're gonna do well, because uh, we got five Ps. Proper preparation prevents poor plating. So we're gonna go over it before we get going. So these guys are gonna be comfortable and I'm sure the food is gonna come out probably better than I do it myself. They're gonna do the work and I'm just gonna kick back, drink bubble water and watch. <laughs> All right, you guys, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make uh, Blue Plate's most popular dish. It's the fried chicken. For a long time, it was our meatloaf, um, but I think in the last five years, fried chicken has just uh, went on a tear. Uh, you guys go ahead and uh, grab an apron and get ready to go, and then uh, we'll get going. Yeah. Damn, they're dickies? I don't even know if I need dickies. He only has one hand, he broke his hand yesterday. And I'm allergic to chicken. And he's allergic so. to chicken, so. Ed is his birthday. So he's just out. here to make us look good. And it's his birthday. And it's happy birthday, birthday. Zappo Verde, yeah. Feliz Cumpleaños. So what we're gonna do today, <laughs> all three. What we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna do fried chicken um, and a spring salad with greens, strawberries, and ricotta salada cheese with a um, white balsamic vinaigrette. We've got organic bone out chicken thighs here. Um, we're gonna go into a dredge, uh, which is the flour mix, which is uh, cornstarch, all-purpose flour, as well as a, a thinner flour called Wonder Flour. Uh, we're gonna fry the chicken 300 degrees for uh, seven minutes, and then we're gonna dredge it. The chicken is marinated with uh, buttermilk, creme fraiche, roasted garlic oil, chopped fresh garlic, thyme, more smoked paprika. The chicken has a little smoky uh, edge to it and salt and pepper. So we do about 36 hours uh, in the marinade so we can actually get into the chicken. And then uh, we go with the marinade into the flour and into the fryer. We will have uh, the recipe for the chicken, the flour, the dredge, also the marinade if you want to make it at home, as well as what we put in the vinaigrette for the salad in the description below. So I think uh, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna get some chicken going. Kevin, you wanna, you wanna yeah, do it? Yeah, 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 let's do it. All right. Yeah, you oh, yeah. get over there, stay away from the chicken. <laughs> one of the, one, one in three million people are allergic, and Jeremy's one of them. 
All right, so what you're gonna do is grab a piece, shake it out, and then drop it in that, uh, in the dredge. And then Jake, you can, you can take those tongs and just kind of flip it around, move it around, and get it covered. Yeah, there you go, that looks great. It just smells fire. Yeah, right? You're oh, yeah. killing I'm, it right I'm now. I'm dredging it. I'm dredging, dredging it. it dude. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Getting all that dredge in there. No, that's perfect. All right, now, Jake, pull your chicken over and just put one on the front, one on the back. Can I drop one? Yeah, drop the next one. I want to drop yeah, one. Yeah, I'm yeah. about to say, I know you do. <laughs> right. You can see in your so eyes. Satisfying. It's so nice. Just uh, set it in the front. All right, there we go. Drop uh, it in there. <laughs> all right, put your tongs back in your bowl. Yeah. I'm taking this bowl with me. Go ahead and shake that basket a little bit. Give some love, so, Kev. Good job, Kev. Press, press your button. Got an eight minute Boom. timer going. Great. Eight All right, minutes. we're on Let's the go. we're on the countdown. Yeah. While the chicken's frying, we have prepped our strawberries here, which have just came into a uh, came into season. Who wants to cut those guys? Let's get Jeremy up in there. You're one hander? I'll hold one and he'll chop it. Let's do that. That's pretty sick. All right, see you Yeah, you can do it with this if you want. Just, yeah, right? There, we got, yeah, go ahead and just cut the top off. Bombs too far. Yeah, oh, this is, dude, this has never happened before. This might be the first time. Chop it more? Yeah, chop a lot. Tops off all of them. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Dude, this is so, so sick. All right. Boom. All right. I've always got my back. I like it, yeah. All right. There we go. Oh, we got a little. Mm. Um, dude, I'm loving this. Yeah, a little assembly line. This, I don't think this has ever right happened now. ever. Dang, that was a clean cut. Two yeah, nibs. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. One hand, no problem. All, right. All right. Oh. 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 Yeah. We're okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. nibs. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're ready. That is it. Oh, nibs so is we got, we got our lettuce, spring lettuces right here. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> get our yeah, salad bowl you know. out here. They are in season. You Damn, your this? apron's all sick. Dude. It's, I know, right? So I got Dickie's yeah. one. This shit's good. Yeah, got like the contrast stuff. stitching and shit. It's fire. You, mind, you got oh, yeah. that one first. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put these in there. I came up dripping with the apron, I know. And I stole the strawberry. There we go. Spring lettuces right yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and. We'll do a little side salad here. Go ahead and squirt a little bit of vinaigrette on there. Jake, go ahead and mix it up evenly until it's got a nice sheen. Then I'm gonna grab so our light. plate. <laughs> Great plating, Kev. Good, Good technique there. Good yeah. placement. These greens make a nice bed for the strawberries. You've done this before, yeah. huh? I'm gonna add in our smoked jalapeno buttermilk dressing, um, which I think smoked is- what? Smoked jalapeno buttermilk dressing. Um, which I have some, that I want you to fire. try. Just go, so ahead, go ahead and try that. Oh, you got so a spoon? Good. Yeah, just go ahead and taste it. And uh, see here. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of uh, ricotta salada. Ooh, that's dressing. All right. Like snow, Kev. Yeah. It's like wow. Snow. Yeah, it's going to be good with that chicken. It's called Blue Plate only because we didn't, couldn't think of a good name. We had a bunch of shitty names. Um, but we walked in this front door when we got first got the keys to the space. There was a big blue plate on the corner of this bar. And it was like a 1950s or 60s deco plate that had a star on it. And when we walked in, we had been haggling, going back and forth, arguing over the name for this restaurant. And we were, uh, we saw the plate and we said, forget it, that's it. We're just gonna call it Blue Plate and we're gonna go, go with it. Very next day, the plate dropped up here in the hallway and shattered into pieces. And so we were like, is this good luck or bad luck? We didn't know, but we've made it 22 years. So I think, you know, that plate, that plate was a good plate. How's the chicken coming? We just pulled it out. Is it timer timer's up? How's yeah. it, is it looking gold? It's pretty nice. That looks great. These guys out of the way. Damn, Kev, you did yeah. that. First. Hey, we did that. We all yeah. did Isn't that. It, right? Yeah. What, just Kev? The what dream team, cool. right? All right, so prop the other one up against yeah. it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh. It's all right, it's all right. Drop cool. that, Kev. All right, there, that. Now we have it, look what we got there. The chicken dish for spring in its entirety. Now it's time to eat. J Jake's never had it before. Get in there, Neither is Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Go back that. Yeah. Just grab and dip. Just grab and dip, yeah. Right. So hot. Oh, it's so warm. It looks so fire, though. <laughs> you can wait if you want. <sighs> if it's too hot, I got a cold one there for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Steam's coming out of his mouth. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Chicken vape. <laughs> chicken vape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's a little beer battered chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yo, the star's okay. here. The star of the show. Right, this chicken's awesome. Bring in the mail. <laughs> yeah. You want a piece of chicken? You want some chicken? You sure? It's so good. Really good. Yeah, come on, come on. Can I try a piece? Yeah, yeah. Right here. Right here. Yeah, right there. Right. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it is. It is on YouTube later, actually. Yeah. All right. Here's your chicken. Ooh. Yeah, baby. All right. Wow. Enjoy. Thanks for delivering. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you. All right. So sick. Blue plate is for the people. Give me one hour of fried chicken. Seriously, he's like, open that thing up and fried chicken. He's gonna tear it up right now. Yeah. Yeah. I should give some jalapeno buttermilk. Here's some sauce to go with it. Jalapeno <laughs> buttermilk. You gotta dip. You gotta dip before we dip, before we dip. You dip, I dip, we dip. Thank you. All right, take it easy. Yeah, that's it. Not really though, dip. <laughs> Corey, this is so good. Why'd you, uh, why'd you start cooking? What made you want to be a cook? I lived in Santa Cruz and I didn't know what to do, so I started working at a place called Gales in Capitola. And then I caught it, I think I caught the bug. Okay. And so I moved from Santa Cruz to San Francisco to start cooking, because there was a lot better restaurants. And I was gonna go to the culinary school, but when I got up here, I realized it was just too expensive and I couldn't afford it. And then one day, like, it was actually a New Year's Day, and me and my good friend Ian, I ran into him at the Atlas Cafe at 20th and like, Harrison, yeah, and we were, it was time. New Year's Day, we were both hung over and we would both cooked the night before. And more or less it came down to him saying he hated his job and I, me saying I hated my job too. And he's like, dude, we gotta open a restaurant. Into my head I was like, yeah, right. And then my all head I was also kinda like, that'd be sick, you know? He's like, dude, come to my house tomorrow. I live on 24th Street by Roosevelt Smalley Parlor. And so I did, I grabbed a bottle of Carlos Rossi red wine, I had like some pens, and I came over and him and I sat down, we're like, what do we gotta do? What we did was, is we found this place, and we came in here, and it looked like a movie, almost like where the apocalypse happened. Uh -huh. Like there was coffee cups that had dried up, the cash register was open, there was pots on the stove, and we kinda looked around, and we could see it. We were like, dude, we could fucking do this. That's how it started. So then me and my friends, we just started coming up with dishes, and working on it, working out the kinks, and here we are. You know, we, went, we opened on May 1st, 1999, last century. We've been rolling for 22 years now. Yeah. Just the anniversary. Yeah, we just had May ago. 1st. May yeah. 1st was our, 10 days ago was 22, yeah. Damn, so, yeah, that's amazing. That's it. Yeah, those are nice strips. You want, do you want to get habanero? You want to get hot with it? Oh, you get habanero? Uh, yeah, you're gonna love that. Oh, I love mm -hmm. nice. Oh, 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 oh I do cool. not fuck with hot stuff. You got it. I'm struggling. That shit looks juicy. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna help out there better. Oh, no. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. It's not cheating if you guys get fed. Oh, shit. This is going to town. Trevor. Prime time. That's butter. All right, you guys, thanks for coming today. That was fun. Santa Cruz Skateboards, Blue Plate, SF, Frying Chicken. Um, before we go, we want to wish Jeremy a happy birthday. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, it is. I feel like everyone did a great job frying chicken, making salads. Let's do it again sometime. Happy oh, birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Chicken and champagne, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big love, G's.